So let's go over how to do a comparison of two images. In this case, we're going to do a comparison of flexion extension cervical images. So I'm going to open up the patient's file by clicking on the patient's name, and this will show all of the images that they have had performed, all the studies that have been performed. So in this case, we're going to take this study, the cervical flexion extension, so we'll select it, and then we're going to come down here to uh, this flexion extension study on 520 and we'll select it. So with those two selected, we come down to the bottom and we click compare now. So we click this and the software will generate the images. So here's the flexion extension and the flexion extension. So I've put some comments in here already, but you could type whatever you want it to be. Let's put this was um, abnormal and uh, this was an instability and this was uh, C6 retro uh, spondo, it doesn't matter what, whatever you want to type, it can be as long as you want there. All right, so we've got that done. And now we come down here and save comments and export to PDF. And it's going to generate our report that shows this was bad. And on this date, this was abnormal comparing those two dates. And we scroll down and there's our other, uh, this was bad, this was abnormal. And uh, there you can see your comparisons. So that's how you put two images onto the report at a time. It does not generate a written report for this. It just shows you the visual comparison of one side by side.